One memory in particular stood, up, stood out in his mind. The morning light coming through the windows, his mother singing a song. He thought she had performed it on the radio the night before. A knock on the, a knock on the front door. His mother asked him to answer it, and so he did. That is how it happened that the last time he heard music was also the last time he saw his mother. She was taken by the Cal Barrage. He was only a child. It was about the time when people started disappearing and the controls grew more and more restrictive. In a week, all arts, music, dance, anything labeled as counterproductive had been forbidden by law. And with his mother, a well, being a well-known figure, the secret police wanted him too. On that day, he learned to hide his emotions. He became the actor. By day, playing a role, but by night, his true heart performance began. The actor was forced to go on the run. The years passed, an actor without a stage, often homeless, finally in a quiet village that appeared strange while scouring the ruins for shelter from the downpour. He came upon a monumental discovery that would save his life. From the street, it looked like a warehouse, but upon entry, as his eyes adjusted to the dim light, the actor could see that the place was, in fact, an old abandoned theater. And in the backstage room, amid shadows and wooden walls behind tattered velvet curtains, where a light bulb hung from the ceiling, there was, under layers of dust and crumbled bits of plaster, a grand piano. He sat at the piano. He began digging. The memories came back in pieces at first fragments. He remembered something called scales. Something called chords. It was simple tonal music. But to the actor who'd been for so long deprived Exact harmonies filled his heart with life. When the actor opened his mouth to sing, he was shocked by the silence that followed. He realized then that for so long, he had lived in a world without music. Then now, even though he was safe, well outside the reach of the Calvary, when he tried to sing, he found himself unable to do so. But the actor tried to sing again, and again. Finally there in the dim light, his voice rediscovered the melody that was taken from him so long before. He readied himself, he lifted his head, and he sang. When the actor opened his mouth to sing, he was shocked by the silence that followed. He realized then that for so long 
He had lived in a world without music. Then now, even though he was safe, well outside the reach of the Kel Barrage, when he tried to sing, he found himself unable to do so. But the actor tried, and he tried again. He opened his mouth, and he sang. I walk in a world of silence and snow. Gave a luster of midday to the objects below to be alive is insane to breathe beneath these stars oh night of December I know you will not leave me I I'm walking in the snow. Oh, I am walking in the snow. Black lamb hopes. White halos, light singe the sky red. Show me two kinds of people the alive and the dead. The one tried to tell. Try to hold out, to fight, and to sing. I am walking in the snow. Oh, I am walking in the snow. If music in the streets at night were not forbidden by law, I would sing out my life's long last true, perfect song. children away from their schools I might wake up the neighbors I end the rules go to secret place they couldn't find Here is 
my melody the key is inside here is a way that we open and find there is a melody you open your eyes walking
The actor was a stranger in town, and at first people wondered what he was doing there, only out in, in the night. And the little girl with her mother passing by the park was like, Mama, who is that man? Who is that man by the angel? The actor would go to her. He would speak to her, to the statue of the angel in the park of the people. There is an angel I know And she'll always be there Well, she's made out of metal Angel of iron in the park I'll visit you after dark and I'll say, what have you seen? Who do you know? Does anyone believe in you anymore? Cause I see you December every year, that's for sure. looked through the city to find other musicians and artists. He became discouraged because, because of the, it was so hard to find them. They were hiding. And he realized there was someone following him. It was a shadow, his own shadow. And in this time of aloneness, he learned more about it. Realized maybe it wasn't all bad. Maybe he didn't have to run from it. still come to the theater and 
imagine his plays, his operas. Why, hello, I call myself a rifter. Where I go, is known to only lonely minds in the snow. Snow is all I know on the rooftop. Don't you know? Don't you know the rifter? Why, hello. I see your village sleeping Down below I see the village dreaming I sit and sing on the rooftop Down below Do you not know Dreaming in a city with locked doors I need to sleep, I need to sleep Dreaming in a city with locked doors I need to sleep The night is what I've chosen Far away Away from all people love The village Safe and warm Glowing and showing Love and warmth And family In the night, I am your shadow moving. In the mirror, I am not the one you're choosing to see. So it seems I'm all you fear, but all you want to be. You know me.
But there was hope in this. There was still a way to do something. The actor didn't realize. He didn't realize that <coughs> just because there was a silence over the land. He didn't know then there were others just like him. Others who wanted to make music. Resist the silence. Well, the resistance would start a band. And all they needed was a song to bring them together. Something to unite them. But someone had to be the first one to start singing. And then in the night, in the quiet world, a single voice, like a glimmer of light, began singing. It was a clear voice, a simple melody. It was a song people felt they recognized. It was the song of hope. And the voice spread until more people were singing, and everyone with music inside them, everywhere, stopped what they were doing for one moment, and they heard. And the TVs and telephones for one moment stopped working. And from out of the town, cities, and villages, a great throng of people, voices over the hill, people who had kept the music hidden in their hearts for so many years. They came down from the mountains and hillsides and poured onto the streets, and they were singing. The silence is broken, they said. Resist the silence. inside. 